as if you haven't had enough me and Maria content, we're back. Oh, hey. <laughs> We just woke up, that lady just like walked by. Today we are going to Broccoli City Music Festival and it's gonna rain all day. If you don't know what Broccoli City Music Festival is, it's a music festival. Rico Nasty is gonna be there, 21 Savage, Lil Durk. Rico! And Rico is performing on her birthday. Today is Rico Nasty's birthday and I get to see her in concert. So I'm just like spazzing in my pantalones because I love that bitch. I just need to get ready basically and I just can't decide because it's gonna be raining all day and I don't wanna be like freezing cold but also I tend to get like really hot when I'm in big crowds. I'm gonna brush through all of my curls right now. I think I'm gonna end up bringing a jacket. If you don't, and you get cold. I'm like, gonna spend like $100 spend, on merch. Yeah, exactly. Like more than that. Yeah, probably more. I might wanna do like two braids that. out here. So it's like when our hot Cheeto girl face was upon us. Let's get bumping and jumping and bumping. My outfit was so cute when it wasn't gonna be like rained out and now it's like really bad. Deliver everything up to my brain, my cranium. This is reminding me of my hot Cheeto girl face and I'm not too fond of it right now. This is the finished hair. I don't know how I feel about it. I I ended up putting these two pieces in braids because I felt like they were just like a little bit too much. But my head just like always looks weird when it's up. Like I have like a really weirdly shaped head. I just don't feel my best, but I feel like once I get the glitter and my mascara on and my outfit on, like everything will be better. I'm debating starting my makeup now or just chilling for a minute. But I think I'm gonna start it. So we have about an hour to get ready. Let's pack a lunch! <laughs> I haven't even thought about like jewel wise like where I want to put them. I was gonna do like crazy makeup for Rico and her like birthday, but like now it's gonna get rained out, so it's like yippee. Did, you did the same thing with Hawaii. You just like waited till the last minute to like decide anything. Sparkles are just not fucking with me right now, and it's pissing me off. Babes, if they're not fucking with you right now, I don't think they'll be fucking with you later. <laughs> Hey queens, and this is the final look for me. It's kind of like mid, but you know what? Do what we had to do with the rain, my face, the glitter's going everywhere. I'm just not even gonna bother with it because you know what? It's a festival. My ass is just like fully just like plummeting out of these pants. I'm gonna pull it down. Late as always, never fails. <laughs> Running around the fucking streets of our hometown with my ass cheeks super dazzling. Why I wore mascara is just beyond me at this point. Yippity do. Not Maria's metro car declining, so we literally had to hop the fence. We're real mature, we're real good at this. I should've just put it on the other side down here and just called it a day. Already looking extra cute. I've gotten so many lovely stares. Everyone's really fond of my outfit here. We literally just missed the train by like two minutes. Yep. So now we have to wait another 10 minutes for the next train. We're gonna live, love, laugh, life and enjoy ourselves. And we're gonna make it, no biggie. We're doing great. Damn right. We have arrived on the metro and we are making our way to Broccoli City. Hey guys, we have officially made it to the stadium. It's officially freezing. I really have no fucking clue where we're going, honestly. We're just walking around, but we made it to the stadium. In the street, but everyone's like dressed all warm with long pants and long sleeves, and I'm just. I'm what? <laughs> Bye -bye. Oh, okay. Hey y'all, we made it through security and the ticket place. So we're here. I'm so fucking excited. Look at the Ferris wheel and shit. Ah. <laughs>
We tried to go back in there to see fucking Jeezy and Wale and that shit just wasn't the fucking thing. We're gonna go to the merch station. I have no clue what the fuck we're gonna do. We're gonna go back for 21 Savage and Dirk and we're gonna go an hour early. You will not fucking believe me right now when I tell you this shit. First of all, I look like a fucking dumbass. So. Over there. But it's $70. Yeah. yeah, we're just fucking freezing. We just had to. But no way that was a regular price. I don't believe. I don't either. Forty, fifty, seventy. That's crazy. Seventy. I'm saying a fucking good luck. Good luck, man. Good luck. Good luck to you too. Seventy dollars. Yeah, I don't believe that these jackets were actually seventy dollars. Well, I am one hundred. It takes like ten dollars to make a max. I'm literally one hundred percent sure they were like fifty, like sixty max, and then the rain start and seventy. Up to 20. Because they're gonna sell because it's freezing. There's a fucking broccoli on it. In the back, in the back. To explain what's going on, basically me and Maria were not planning to go back. And then we heard Money Mar on the stage as a special guest. We ran and ended up back in the crowd. Because he brought out one of my favorite fucking rap artists, Polo G, on the stage. And he sang Rap Star, which is one of my favorite Polo G songs. So basically, that's this next clip. And, and I cried a lot during his set.
I finessed orange juice, she finessed water from the booth. Well, we asked, not finessed, but like kind of finessed because we didn't pay for it. Yeah, so. but we finessed for it. It was but they, the people that were working there let us, so. Yeah. Um, I'm so fucking cold. We made it to we the end. We got matching hoodies. We did it. Yeah, we saw Polo G and Money Mar and No Savage. So fucking Polo G. Oh my god, I have to, I'm gonna talk to you guys when I get home and like express my happiness about how I fucking saw Polo G. That was there. so much fun. So, I actually didn't express my happiness when I got home. I ate food and basically went to sleep Hi. basically had the best time ever um saw Polo G. one of the rappers there followed me i'm not gonna disclose who but like the other people's energy there wasn't the best but overall all in all was great anyway with that being said i love you guys so unbelievably much if you made it this far make sure you like comment share, and subscribe and hit that little post notification bell so you never miss another live is and since you're down there you might as well follow my instagram and my tiktok put them a link down in the description below and on the screen right now if you made it this far comment a broccoli emoji i love you guys so unbelievably much Peace out.